Welcome back to the Adventures of the Knights of the Old Republic with Darth Ravaffin, also known as Rhea Raven, and me, your narrator, Obi-Wan. So, before we head into the Valley of the Dark Lords of the Sith, I think we should have more chats with you through I understand you have impressed Master Uthar at least a little. That is good. We are one step closer toward completing my plan. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. I imagine so. You mentioned Slahira before. We would like to learn more about that uh, cesspool of a planet. It'll be educational for people to know where not to go in this galaxy. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? We would just like to know more about you, is all. I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the huts. The huts control everything on Sleheran, and a slave is nothing to them. I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him well, and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo lost, ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Sahiran. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. So the Jedi found you? It's interesting what happened then. I'd Could rather you not take discuss it. Training? Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? Oh, I hope to now. see you again. Good. Well, we'll learn more of that story as it goes. For now, before we go to the Dark Valley, I think Rhea Maven's greed for power and secret overwhelmed her. And as staff for Farfin, she felt she was obligated to be allowed into this room. Acknowledgement! HK, can you break open this door? Affirmative. Successful entry. Very good, my superior droid friend. Data pad. Secrets you threw about your master data pad, yes. Affirmative. Successful entry. Ooh, a powerful Sith mask. Might be something for a uh, real maven to wear, I guess. Let's see, what is this data pad though that we found? Data pad, data pad, where are you the data pad? Well, this doesn't tell us much. Ah, I think this is the latest. Yes, this is a uh, data that appears to contain numerous entries of note made by Master Yutha of the Sith Academy. Most prominent is a recent entry saying the following. The pupil known as Dusta has shown remarkable progress. His talent for the Force is great. The same, however, cannot be said for the human female that he arrived with, Selene. She has little talent. Moreover, Dusta holds great degree of affection for her. This is a weakness in the in the boy, and has been showing slowing him down his training. Orders were sent this morning to have the girl removed from the academy and terminated. I will tell Dusta, Dusta that she was killed in the valley. He will forget her soon enough. I think he is still promising uh, to lose it at this juncture. Well. You lost him anyway, because we uh, made him lose life. A lot of life. All of it, in fact. So, with that secret revealed, and the Sith were kind of uh, screwing him over, taking his girl and killing her, well, time to head to the Dark Valley. There's, there's not much we can do at this point. Hopefully they're both happy in death. And here we were, the dusty... Dusty graves of the ancient Sith. Fine art, I have to say. But yes, very dusty. What secrets could be revealed here? Well, Shyrax, apparently. <laughs> Lots of Shyrax. How'd you like that? Time to rumble! 
They die in droves. I might as well uh, go to the city where they're in. Corpses? Sick troopers. They must be woefully incompetent to not be able to deal with a few Shyrex. Exterminating this old pest problem would uh, probably please the bosses of the academy, so real even eager to uh, get more blood to uh, blood in front of the lightsaber. Continue to assault all the silence in the What is this then? Campfire? Sith corpses? Credits and some shields, alright. That's not a grand weapon of heat. I was hoping for some secret uh, underground search for a super weapon of some kind. That's what a lot of Sith are into uh, when delving into caves. Ah, oh, Takata! Once again, best. Best of not much Find some grand mystery by now. Tune on corpses. This is just best control. Oh well. I will rush through this then. Well, this is curious. A grand dark canyon underground. The great Sith piece, a torrent attack on the other side. As Rhea was eager to hunt these great beasts, she stomped straight at it! Time to rumble! Cutting at its massive... You asked for this! ...into the hive! Ready to go well, the force would do little against such a creature. But brute force would certainly do a lot to look such a creature. Control. This is the training for her saber arms. Well, well, it seems other people have been doing pest control in these caves. Suddenly, we have made and found a very civilized mine. And place on the ground. HK, can you take care of this? Very good, my robot friend. But be wary. When there's one mine, there's usually more. They procreate in fields. Ew, living people! What? This seemed like a curious occurrence to be a maven. Hold it right there, whoever you are. 
We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Ah, so you immediately play your hand, eh? So I guess we'll be doing Mr. Hard's Open way fire! In, since... Get them! Get them! Since we were turned to get them... You asked for this! I'll be back to the Oh, impressive to the lightning there! Very much. 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 Well, I guess this was the big secret of these uh, damn caves. Let us quickly get back out and enter the valley of the Dark Lords in proper now. To find out of this dreadful cave, we Sabrina Maiden strode into the full glorious area of the Valley of the Dark Lords. The sight was most impressive with the great statue of slave and defeated Sith Lords. Shadowing in the distance. As much as she'd like to explore all of this, these mysteries now, though, she had an appointment to keep. An appointment with La Shao and a Tukata mother. Who apparently have swallowed a uh, Sith holocron. I hope it's still okay in her belly. It can't be good for the circuitry. Ah, there is La Shao. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. I'm pretty sure Takata are not capable of communication. Get They're ready. animals! This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. I think this will be easy. Yes, yes this will be easy. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> the beast is dead. We yes, work better friend. together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Hmm. Yes. I do not think we should trust her in this case, in the whole betrayal thing and all. How can I be so sure of such a... Uh... Set of just words You're for the you. one that convinced me to go through with this plan. Why oh. wouldn't I see it through? Trying to do the Jedi mind trick on Rie, eh? You don't trick a Dark Lord of the Sith like that. Let us go to, uh, to Matha Uther together, it. then. I'm not waiting up for you. That wasn't our plan, anyway. Plans changed. Give me the holocron You're not now. getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. The plan was we both get credit. Let's try, uh, try to make back it Back off. Fair I'm deal. warning you. I'm not giving this up. Then I'll just have to take Over it from my you. dead body. That was the plan. For the sick! Yeah, for the choke to death. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, too easy. And with that, the Sith holocron was ours, and no one else to claim prestige over it. Well, with this solved, Next time, I think it's time we do indeed explore these, uh, these great big tombs that line the wall, the, the valley walls. So well, actually, I think we do have time for a little bit more. I suppose we're going to have a chat uh, in this episode, give a little bit of, of a preview to the tombs. The tombs we'll be seeing in the next episode. And here to give a little preview is this gentleman, Greetings. Tech Passier. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Yes, we are. We have a place indeed. Here to investigate the ruins. What can you tell me about the ruins? The stone-faced, uh, the amazing stare at her with the weird Sith mask. Well, 
It seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. Yes. The tombs in this Jedi valley are the only Republic. parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Made any unusual findings then? Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, is, uh, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Not Until that time, wise. however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. And these tombs, they're dangerous, we have even assumes. Well, dangerous for someone who's weak, at least. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. Yeah. Add more bodies to the tombs, eh? Make uh, some of the empty tombs proper tombs. I suppose I can uh, appreciate that, that at least the return tomb is properly used. What can you tell me about, for more about these tombs? Then? There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were Isn't ancient Mark Sith Howard lords. Knows? Tell us about the tomb of Ajunta Paul. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. Hmm, quite. And what about the tomb of Tulak Horde? That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. Eh. Takata, eh? Tell me more about them, because they seem uh, like very good, like creatures. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally, the guards track down a queen and kill it. Oh, yes, it usually just pacifies that. them for a bit. So, continuing on, uh, the tomb of Marka Reknos. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. Hmm. Droid, eh? Maybe I'll we'll have to have a word for that. And what about the tomb of Nagasato? It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth That's Malak found true. something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. Well, you, we know that he found the star map, so we do need to ask that. A little bit about you, My then. name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Yutha won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. Well, we have All to right, do them. just be careful if you head into any of those tombs. Uh, don't worry. We will. In fact, well, this tomb of Nagasada, I suppose we can breach it. I mean, there's just droids in there. Can't be that complicated. Let's give it a go. Tomb of Marka Ragnos. A very famous Sith Lord. I believe he actually made appearances in the old days as a goose and such. Hello, Wardroids. Droids! detected. Excessive audio input must be cut from the master. No. Initiate a testing oh. one. Who is this fun? Let's actually put the energy in this one. Uh, let's see, let's find the enemy. There we go. I uh, yes, that's what I Well I guess uh oh, some of that can say it's not Oh HK just has to shoot all of them. Oh, 
Something, uh, I didn't quite catch it. I was too busy with the explosions. A data pad. Well, we'll read that later. For now, we have more destruction to get to. This is uh, at least a very simple tomb. I mean, it's just a straight hallway. I guess Mark Arachnus was a very direct type of Sith Lord. You just set something up, oh well. Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. Well, that's not very logical. Alright, time to put the shield up. Ah, take it like that! Crazy, how cute! <laughs> Lightsabers. We are really very good with lightsabers. That's useless. Anything else here? No. Well, I guess this was an easy tomb to explore. A little bit of a little bit of a taste of what's coming up next in the next episode. Where we will delve into more Ziff tombs. Hopefully you'll cover more. Complicated secret and just a whole range of droids to destroy. Was well, fun though. Horrified but fun. Anyways, until the next episode. <laughs>